just learn how to copy files from your computer into the flash drive and also how to copy files from your flash drive back into the computer. Let's go. Here, there is our flash drive. This is the flash drive. To plug it into the system, you have the hole at the top, okay? So let the hole be at the top, whether you're using a laptop or you're using a desktop, they are always in this format. And you go Hello there, my name is Dr. Ada. I want to introduce to you a very good ebook. Imagine reading a book. As you're reading it, you just click on a button and it takes you to the video for that topic. Each of the topics, they have videos on them. The topics are there with images, with explanations, with screenshots and everything, okay? It contains Microsoft Word for documents, okay? Microsoft Excel for calculations, Microsoft PowerPoint for presentations. You want to define your projects, you want to do anything with the PowerPoint, you're a facilitator, you need PowerPoint. It's there well explained with practical demonstrations. You also have web design. You will be able to design your website and host it by yourself. You have video editing, animations. Whether you're a student or not, you need this book. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's just being in the comfort of your room, okay, and learning how to perfect the usage of the computer. I want to just go and get a copy now, okay? You know, visit the website, teachwithcomputer.com. One word, teachwithcomputer. Like that, and you plug it into it. If you hear that sound, that sound is from the system. That sound means something has been plugged onto the system. Once you do that, you can see on the screen, okay, it will open it up for you automatically. Yes, as you can see, once you plug the USB drive into your system, to the computer, it opens it up automatically. So you can see at the top, this, this PC, USB drive L. This letter you're saying can be any letter, it can be D, it can be J, and so on, okay? Depending on the letters that have been used before, okay? It's a system that selects the letters, so don't bother about this. Just bother yourself about the, the name here, USB drive. That's the name, okay? But if it doesn't open it this way, you can close it, okay? If it doesn't open it up for you automatically, you can open Windows Explorer. This is at the bottom here, okay? You just click on it once. That was it. Then go to the left, you click on this PC. Then there's it, this USB drive that we have just plugged. Okay. To open it up, we double click on it. That is it. So this is the content of the USB drive. Now we want to copy something into this USB drive. Okay, we want to copy something here. So what you do, you go to your the documents folder. Usually you will store your files in the documents folder. So there is it. Click on it. You see the content on the right hand side. I have a file. This folder. What I want to copy is in this folder MS Access. I'll open it, double click on it. Now, this is the file I want to take to my flash drive. I'll take it from this computer to another computer. Okay? So you right click on it. You go down. Click on Send to. Okay? This is it. This USB drive, just click on it. Code is gone. So, because the file is small in size, that's why we didn't see the animation while it was copying. So, see it where your file is that you have sent it to. Click on this PC. Okay. USB drive, double click on it. This is the file, customer order. Okay. There's the file. So, we have copied it. It's now inside USB drive. Then you close it. Then to remove it, you don't just remove the USB drive like that. You go down to your tax bar, click on this arrow here. Then you go up. Either you left click or you right click here. It's going to give you the same result. So let's just click like that. Okay. Then you can see this is USB disk. You can see that. You click on it once. That is, it's complaining here, but no, normally it will tell you to eject it. But whatever message gives you, just say okay, okay. This is my antivirus. 
then you go and remove it. You heard that sound? That's how I removed it. Now, if I want to plug, if I want to copy the data from my USB drive back into another computer, what do you do? You go back, you plug it into your system as well. You heard that sound, didn't you? If you have antivirus, they will always notify you that something has been plugged. Just click on it, close it, close that message. Okay. Now this, my USB drive again is open. This is customer order file that we copied into it. Now I want to take it to another computer. Assuming this is another computer now. All you just do is to go to 3D, click on it, right click, come here and you select copy. I've copied it. You go to your documents, the documents. As you may want to put it in this folder called Corel. Okay. You double click on that folder where you want to place it, place it. You want to copy it to. You double click on the folder that is open. Then you right click and you click on paste. That is it. So it's already here. We have it here already. I close it. That's all. You want to open it again. Windows E. Okay. Documents, double click, Corel folder, double click, that's my file. So that's how to copy files from the flash drive into your system. Whenever I say system, it means your computer, okay? You call it system, it's a shorter way. Your system, your system, it means the computer, okay? Then let's do something else. It's possible that your flash drive is corrupt. Once you have a flash drive that is infected by a virus, all you need to do is to format the flash drive, okay? But the first thing, if you have some files that you want to take out from it, maybe they are so important, you can copy those files out first. But to kill the virus, you need to format it, okay? So what you do is to click on this PC, this PC then this is the flash drive, you right click on it, right click on it, and you click on format. That's it, okay? Then volume label you click on that put volume label and make sure you don't type full stop there special characters are not allowed but you can take underscore okay so you want to put a space you can use underscore for example i want to write my name i can just say dr ada say dr underscore ada okay takes 11 characters here after writing that click on start it's going to warn you formatting will erase all data on this disk to format the disk click ok to quit click cancel so i'm sure whatever that's in it i don't need them anymore so i'll click on ok see it's saying that it's being used by another system when you see a message like that you can ignore it click on yes that's it it's gone click on ok okay then i'll close this i'll close this that's all. This is my flash drive. If I double click on it, it says empty. So the essence of adding a volume label is that when you plug it to any system, you're going to see your name on that flash drive. It's for you to identify the flash drive whenever you plug it to a system. Now the same process goes for a folder as well. If you want to copy a folder, you want to copy a file, it's the same process. Let's just try copying a folder. Now let's go there. I have Windows E, open Windows Explorer. Okay. Now, as you mean, I want to copy something into the flash drive that I formatted the other time. I click here. You can see this is my flash drive that is empty. And I want to copy something that is in my folder, okay, in my system to the flash drive. I'm going to use another system which is faster, okay. But Either of them is okay, okay? Just choose the one you can do better. I'll just go to this PC, okay? Go to Documents. I'll double click on it. Either you double click on this, or you click on this once. The one to the left, you click on it once. The one here, you double click, okay? This is my document folder. Now, I come here, this CCS card. Now, this is a folder, I'll click Science. These are the files in it. I have these two video files in my folder and i will take them from this system to another computer okay so all i just do i'll just go back this is the folder okay 
I'll just click on it, select it once, okay? On my keyboard, I'll press Control C. Control C. I've copied it. I'll go back to this PC. This is my flash drive, okay? I can just right click here and paste it. Okay, I can right click and click on paste here. Or I'll just double click to open it. Click on an empty space and press Control V. That's it, copy. Why did I click on the empty space? Is to make it receive focus. Because if it's not receiving focus, it will not accept the command. So that's why I clicked on an empty space before pressing Control V. So whenever I want to copy to a different location, the fastest way is Control C, Control V. I'm okay. I just close it. It's already there. If I want to open it, Windows E with my left hand. Okay. Look at it here. If I scroll down, this is my flash drive. I click on it there once. See, this is Agri Science. I double click. That's it. That's the content of the flash drive. That's another way of copying. It's the fastest. You go to the source, select it, press Ctrl C. Go to your destination, click on an empty space, then press Ctrl V, and that's all.